Praise the Lord, beloved. Today, I want us to talk about our last hope. The Bible said in the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13, I read, Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, how many of us are ready how many of us are hoping? Are you ready this morning? I want to encourage you. Sometimes we say all manner of words when it comes to situation, when it comes to things that we are dealing with, when it comes to circumstances. We started, pound, we started saying, we started pacing around, walking around, saying, I hope it did not rain today because you have an appointment. I hope I will not failed the final. I hope I did well on the final. I hope he did not forget our anniversary. I hope I did not forget her birthday. I hope I did not forget what I was supposed to bring home after work. I hope I get promoted. Few things that we hope for contain the kind of satisfaction that lasts even if we get what we hope for. Beloved, what comes next? That is the question. When you get what you hope for, what comes next? We have to hope for something else. When we choose to put our hope in God, we will not be disappointed. Beloved, are you ready to put your hope in God? So that you cannot be disappointed. Don't put your hope in man. Don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in God. Put your hope in God, beloved. Our expectation will be exceeded. How often does that happen, beloved? Today, I want to encourage you with this simple prayer. Just repeat this after me. Or recite it after me. Or whatever you can do. Or just say amen or amen. God, I see how I hope in earthly things. It's only temporarily. Help me to put my hope instead in the internal reward of living forever with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen to me. Tell God, ask God, we have put our hope on earthly things, earthly desire. Our heart is longing for earthly desire. But today, I want to encourage you to tell God, to ask God, to come to God privately and ask him. He said, Lord, help me to put my hope in the earthly reward. So that I can live forever with you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you.